chest is Dobre from here in Lublin, Poland, and I am so confused because the sun is out. The sun is out. not complaining it's just been like two or three days that I've been here and I haven't seen the Sun yet and I must say Lublin is also one of those cities I feel like almost every city is like that where when the Sun is out it's just a completely different city and another thing I can tell you if you do come to Lublin maybe if you're from Lublin watching this you can explain to me what is going on with this because this place right here as I said yesterday it's packed all the time. There's always a line there. And now I'm heading this way towards, I think, Lithuania Square. And other than that, uh, no plan. But actually, a quick, uh, quick pause into uh, Jabka. You guys know here is the, the store that's every 50 meters here in Poland. You guys saw my Instagram, you know the Pedruka bread. They have it here as well. So Pedruka doesn't have that garlic bread stuff that I always am talking about. Jabka, you can get it here as well. But uh Okay, got water, all good. Now But if you're kind of new around here, I haven't really been to Poland um, around this time of year. I've always left. August is the last, from about May to August is the only time of year that I've ever been here. Um, and of course, it's much warmer and everything. But I must say, if you took away the coldness of right now, but there's no wind, so it's okay. It's really nice here, especially in some of these cities here in Poland that are so green, where there's literally parks and almost like half of a forest, such in places like... Well, let me think about it. It's this building right here. To all of you watching from Poznan, doesn't this kind of look like the place in Poznan? And I was just thinking because in the middle of the city, kind of seeing all the color kind of brings like a new kind of light to the city that I've never, I never noticed before in summer. Because I guess in summer, I'm always looking for these trees to go under for shade because it's so hot. But I never really realized how it can look actually pretty nice with the leaves all different colors. Okay, and this right here is maybe more of a question. So that square with the fountains and everything, that's like Lithuania Square. And I see all these buses that are going by and they're almost the same flag, the same color as the flag of Lithuania. Is there like some kind of, I don't know, not coincidence, but is there some kind of uh, correlation between Lublin and Lithuania? Is there some kind of, I'm seeing a lot of red and green everywhere, but that could just be my mind because I think about it now I see it everywhere. I think it's called your cognitive reticular function. Check it out. Um, just, just a little bit curious, I guess. And I was gonna like keep straight down here, but I think this could be a park over here. Wow. 
Okay, okay. And I think maybe I've answered my own question by seeing this park here. Because I see the colors up here. It's like, ching <laughs> dobre. I see the colors. So maybe it's just the same colors as Lithuania. That's the park. Oh, and apparently it hasn't changed in a long time. The fashion. Look at the dates. Same, same, same. And for me, that's pretty impressive. And I think I might have said it yesterday. If I didn't say it to you, then I said it to somebody. And if I didn't say it to somebody, then I just thought it and didn't say it. But I really like about Lublin how it just, it's just, it's an old city and it's old. I find that it's very rare to find cities that are, that weren't destroyed in the war or weren't destroyed just because of who people are different people are claiming it or no one took care of it and it feels like here in the city everything is just really old and it's really preserved which is like it's pretty impressive Just a little reminder, Matteo, if you're watching this, bro, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. See you in Warsaw. Actually, so I was trying to make my way to the Center Commercial after the park, but apparently I was going the wrong way, but apparently there's a cultural thing. Thanks to Matteo, thank you, uh, for telling me that this is a place that I definitely needed to see. Whoa. Place. checking that place out not sure what that place is but that's really nice and cool okay now check out this and it's funny because anytime I get into situations like this I know there's someone like watching this who's thinking like Luke why don't you just research everything before you go and I don't know because when I turn the corner I see something like this it's just like my brain is like, what is this? And I get super curious and I have to figure it out and I have to go there and it stays like pushing me and motivating me. Cause kind of once you know everything and what everything is and where everything is, I mean, where's the adventure in that, you know? Trim the sport, okay. Okay, so I'm guessing this is like the, I'm guessing it's like a culture building center. Oh, it's open. really nice it actually looks like the library in Warsaw and looks like it could be a library okay so apparently they have everything here music club screening bistro stroll room box office lounge bar opera ballet garden wow this is like the the Warsaw the library, the University Library in Warsaw on steroids. So I'm like inside of that place right now. But it looks like it's, it's just everything. Wow. Okay. Okay, so if you come to Lublin, this is the place to see in Lublin. I think, I'm pretty sure I saw a lounge bar. I gotta go to that place and see what it looks like. Like how cool is that though? I don't even know if this place is open. No lights, nobody. But that was a cool elevator though. 
glass doors. I almost walked through the door. Can I even be up here? There's like nobody. The door's open. But I've been in situations like this where I've snuck in somewhere and I got locked in. I think it's okay. see this this is so cool oh my gosh and the crazy thing is it's like warm in here it's like heated wow wow Lublin this city is improved 100% look at this <laughs> wow 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 just be curious. That's the thought of the day. Be curious. I just was like, I wonder if I can come in here. And boom. Be curious. They say curiosity killed the cat. It's like something we say in America. But I bet you that cat lived an amazing life. So I wasn't sure if I was allowed to come up here. But definitely, definitely glad I did. Lublin. Lublin. so my eyes are probably swollen, but I've ended the vlog earlier today, so I guess we'll spin back to there to where I ended the vlog. I just totally forgot. Um, yeah, to where I ended the vlog earlier today. And I brought you back up here. I didn't return here. I just brought you guys back here because I feel like this is a this is a pretty cool place to end the vlog. This place is like so cool, and I guess because it's the middle of the day, no one's here, so I have it just kind of to myself. And maybe that makes a cool effect, the wide-angle lens with this. It's like I'm, like I'm flying through the... You know, and I think that that's, uh, yeah. And I think that this is one of the coolest places that I've seen in a long time. It's just so creative, the architect who designed this. And not to mention just over there, you have another cafe with a view. So that note, yeah, Lublin, definitely approved. Definitely approved. Um, to every all the people who I've met who have told me, someone actually told me about this. Mateo, thank you for telling me about this place. Uh, and for everyone else, thank you guys so much who I've met and said hello to. It really means a lot. I, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, hope you guys kind of enjoyed the video, learned something, and um, yeah. So I'm like, I'm like excited to make the vlog, but I'm also excited because I'm super high right now on this building. But I feel like this is a pretty cool place to end the vlog. Thank you guys so much. Speak to everyone later, and everyone always remember to work hard, be brave. Don't forget to smile. Ciao.